Hello everyone and welcome to Grindforce Gaming. I am Falcon and I'm bringing you a really exciting video today. I've been working hard on a Street Fighter Duel Fighting Spirit tier list. So I've actually written out every single level to every single Fighting Spirit for every fighter in Street Fighter Duel and I'm sharing it with all of you. So let's jump right into it. Before we get going, let's talk about FS plus 30 for just a minute. To raise a fighting spirit from plus 20 to plus 30, you use the red boost stones, and these are really rare. You'll usually only get a couple of them at a time, and to level a single fighting spirit from plus 20 to plus 30 takes 300 of them. Strengthening your fighting spirits in this game is a grind, and we here at Grindforce Gaming, we love the grind. So that's why I wanted to put this document together for everyone. The GFG guys, Datscat, Nova, JB, and myself, we want to help you to grind this out efficiently and tell you exactly which fighters you should be focusing on. So without further ado, let's take a look. As you can see, I went all out. I've written out the details of every character's fighting spirit in Street Fighter Duel. Every level from the unlock, the plus 10, the plus 20, and the plus 30, even the plus 40 for those who have it. Everything is color-coded to make this as readable and accessible to everyone as possible, and I'm making it available for all of you. I did the work, so now you don't have to. There is a link down in the description to this document. All of you are welcome to download it, print it, uh, make a copy of it, and write your own notes on it, whatever you want to do. This is a tool that I'm making available for everyone. I am going to try to keep this up to date, so when the meta shifts, or there are new balance changes, or new fighters enter the arena, I am going to try to update this document accordingly. The way that I typed all of these skills in was to look at the gallery and just go through the fighters one by one. So that is the order in which they're currently arranged. I kind of like it this way because it clumps all of the fighters from the same faction together. So all of the wind faction fighters are next to each other, all of the infernal faction fighters are next to each other, and so on. But feel free to go up top here uh, and you can sort it alphabetically, uh, or you can just run a search for the fighter that you're looking for. The legend up top here will tell you how I color coded this. So the cyan or the blue, these are your top priority. These are the S tier upgrades that you want to invest in first. These are the ones that are going to give you the highest return on your investment and just have the biggest impact on your battles. The next down is the A tier. These are your green cells here. These are the high priority, maybe not quite as game breakingly good as the cyan, but still great abilities. Uh, yellow is the medium priority and finally red is the low priority. So that is how it's broken down. All right, so we've got all the fighters over here on the left. In the uh, first column is the unlock. So this is when you spend just the initial 20 original tokens to unlock the fighting spirit in the first place. Uh, next we have the FS plus 10, once you spend 200 original tokens. Then we have FS plus 20, this takes 260 strengthening tokens. And finally FS plus 30, which takes 300 boost stones. This is the one that's a grind. Uh, FS plus 40, I do have listed on here as well. There's a couple situations where you'll find notes or comments that I've put in on particular cells. If you go to the FS plus 40 there, for example, I explain uh, my reasoning for why I think plus 40 is only for competitive whales or um, very, very late game players. Um, or I make a, a comment on M. Bison's FS plus 20 that I think this should be one of the absolute highest priorities. Little things like that. So keep your eye out for the little kind of dog ear triangle in the corner of a cell that it just indicates that I have some kind of comment about it. So I'm not going to, you know, run through all of these. <laughs> I already did the work, you guys. You can look at the sheet. The color coding tells you my thoughts on what you should prioritize here. But I do want to draw your attention to five fighters that I think should be top priority for pretty much everyone in the current meta. The first one's going to be M. Bison. He is indispensable. He should be your top priority and you should be getting his fighting spirit to plus 20 as soon as possible. The plus 30 is also an amazing ability, but it's not as high priority. There are other plus 30s, in my opinion, that should be done first. So when you upgrade to plus 30, that's up to you and your preferences. But plus 20 is a must. B. Sangeef is going to be the next one. He is so important because of those interrupts. No one else, no other character can perform interrupts as reliably and as effectively as he can. So he becomes, by default, a hugely important member of your team. And his skills are accordingly awesome. He's got, uh, basically it's transforming his regular attacks into stomp attacks, which besides doing more damage, also have a chance to stun. Um, they have AOE damage, 
And once you get to FS plus 30, removes the control effect inflicted on the fighter immediately and triggers King of the Beasts spin, striking all targets within range eight times and dealing 300% damage to each of them. While performing this attack, the fighter gains super armor, trigger interval 15 seconds. So let me break this down. So at plus 30, Beast Sangeef gains the ability to cancel a control effect that's applied to him. Once every 15 seconds, he's able to just cancel it. And on top of that, it's going to trigger his King of the Beast spin, which does 300% uh, damage eight times to, to the targets in range. And the fighter gains super armor, which means he cannot be knocked back. This is huge. The control effects are things like silence, uh, stun, charm, basically all the stuff that can mess up your combos. And this gives Beast Sangeef the ability to just throw it away. You try to throw a control effect on Beast Sangeef, and once every 15 seconds, he says, nope, and spins into the enemy team instead. It's awesome. Next one I want to highlight is Street Poison. Uh, she's relatively new, obviously, but she's one of our best support characters. That was something that we were lacking in the game, so we were all excited to see Street Poison enter the arena. And her skills, whew, immediately she shot up to, to one of the highest priorities in regards to the fighting spirit as well. That 30% default buff to, to crit damage, and as you can see on all the stats here, it just keeps getting better and better. It starts to stack, and uh, it, it just powers up the team that she's, she's supporting. supporting. Unlike, unlike anything else, else in the game. game. Uh, going down a little ways, I'll quickly mention Elena. Um, as you can see, I've got her first three levels of the Fighting Spirit at top priority, and then the last one is at high priority instead. This is for a couple of reasons. One, and this is true of a lot of this, you'll see that plus 30 is sometimes a lower priority than the plus 20 and, and earlier on a fighter. That's because I'm taking into account the level of investment required. Elena is a spectacular fighter. I use her in most of my lineups. No one else, no one else has a heal that effective. But her plus 30, it's, it's still a great ability. As you can see, it's still high priority. But there's a couple things with it. I think there are others in the plus 30 range that are higher priority. The other thing that happens here is that it launches her into the battle a little bit. Um, when she activates that trigger skill, she jumps kind of into the middle of the fray. And she isn't a character that's really designed to take a beating. So there are rare occasions where this could actually be detrimental to you and cause her to die earlier than you expected. Uh, but by and large, it is a good skill. I do recommend it. There are just other uh, priorities that will come before it in this case. The next one I want to talk about is C Viper. Uh, she has recently shot up as one of my favorite characters. And uh, all of her armor energy buffs happen in this fighting spirit. So... Uh, the first one, when you unlock it, she gets a 40% chance of getting one armor energy when other allied fighters perform a combo. Um, but keep in mind that her passive, uh, if she's leveled up all the way, uh, see if I get this right, I believe her passive starts her off with two armor energy, and then she gains one armor energy every time she does a combo or super combo. So in one or two combo chains, you should be able to get C Viper up to her maximum of five uh, armor energy stacks. So if you go to plus 10, at five armor energy, super combo triggers an additional smash. So this is the one that's the assassination ability right out the gate. She starts the combo and punches the ground and it launches the enemy in the back line uh, on the enemy team. This, now it's, this makes it have an extra smash. Once she has five armor energies, which again happens probably after one and a half or two combos most of the time. If you're lucky, you might get it in one. Plus 20 gets even better because now if she performs a combo, it automatically triggers an additional strike that deals AoE flame damage equal to 187% of attack to any targets within range. So this is just a free bonus attack just lumped on any time you're performing a combo. Now at plus 30, this is the really important one. When she's at 5x armor energy, further armor energy will be transferred to random teammates. Once she's able to start stacking these damage buffs on her other teammates as well as herself, this becomes really, really powerful. Finally, the last fighter I want to highlight has recently become a favorite in the meta because we've all just now started unlocking him, Fashion Blanca. Uh, those wildfire stacks can be ridiculous, especially in boss fights, but even in PvP and just normal PvE modes, Fashion Blanca is really, really powerful uh, as an AoE attacker. 
And what happens with his fighting spirit is all about that wildfire. It just makes it all the more likely that that wildfire keeps stacking. You can stack more of it. You can start transferring it to teammates who start getting the defense and attack bonuses of Prairie Wild. It's insane. You have to check it out. And Fashion Blanca is just, he's one that you're going to want to have in your lineup. Absolutely. Uh, hopefully all of this is very clear. Um, one thing I wanted to note, I saw, I noticed when I opened it on my phone, it automatically defaulted to dark mode or something, um, which with my color coding made it basically unreadable. So if you are on a phone and you're having trouble reading this, make sure you're on you know the normal mode or light mode. In blue text up top, you can see when I last updated this document. I'm gonna try to always keep it up to date. Then I also have a link to our YouTube page. Uh, obviously you're already here, but um, do make sure you check out our other videos. Uh, drop us a subscribe and a like on other videos if you haven't already. And then I've got our Discord page. Uh, linked here as well. This is this has been a really interesting and kind of exciting thing that I didn't expect when we um, started doing this Grand Force Gaming thing. Me, JB, Nova, and Dadscat, our idea was to create a community of gamers, right? And uh, it's been really cool to watch that start to come together. And not only have we started to accrue a, a small following of viewers and people who are excited about what we're talking about, um, but now we have people in our Discord constant communication in constant communication with us as well. Um, in fact, I'll give a quick shout out. We got we got Boo Crocodilly, What the Dill. Hey, these these uh, are people who've hopped in our server really early, and now we're just buddies on the server. You can chat with us, uh, hang out with us, ask our advice ask their advice. We're not the only ones in the community anymore. Now it's not just me, JB, Nova, and Dadscat. Now we've got all of these other people who are excited about the game and happy to help all of us grow and get better at it. So do make sure you check that out. It's been really fun uh, to watch that grow. I hope you appreciate you know the work that I put into this. Uh, I, and again, I'm making it available to all of you. So get in that description and uh, go ahead and download a copy of this or make a copy, put your own notes in it, bookmark it, whatever you want to do. Um, just my little gift to you, a tool for all of you to use. Thank you so much for supporting Grindforce Gaming. I'll see you next time.